like this, sir? Yes. <laughs> yes? Everybody's ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Everybody's faces is on? Yep. Yeah. We're rolling in three, two, one, go. And welcome to Spotlight Presents True Hell Heat Smackdown Live with the Lynches. We are the Lynches. Um, you're supposed to be six feet away from me. Uh, you're too close to me. <laughs> you're too close to each other. All right, hold corona on. free. Hello. You're supposed to be corona free, people. I think Bryce is like the only safe one up there. Yeah, he is the only one safe. Yeah. Yeah, how are right. you? Uh. Well, I am the sensationalist Christy Love. I have Mr. LJ. I have to, Mr. BK. And I have Mr. Love. We are here. We are ready. We're going to give you a smackdown. Now I got to take this thing off my face. So I could be corona free, but I still need to talk and breathe. Well, sit back and get comfortable, because you're about to find out. Yes. Let's see. So, SmackDown started with, uh... But before we get into that, there was no people there because of the coronavirus. They don't want it to be spreading around to other people. That is correct, sir. Thank you, Mr. BK, for your great observation. Appreciate you. Pound for you, sir. Good. So, yes. So, we had it at the performance. He's trying to give you a pound. So yes, we had it at the Performance Center because um, we have this thing called Rona that's um, out and rampant, <laughs> and she's attacking everybody. And uh, just like wrestling, um, we're trying to fight these, you know, these bad guys. So Rona's the new bad guy on the street, and we're trying to get rid of her. So now, shout out to, to Rona. No, no shout out to Rona. Why? Rona's not getting no shout outs. Nah, she man, she popping in these streets, apparently. <laughs> So this this week's episode of SmackDown was at the Performance Center and we had no audience. Yep. But uh, it, it opened in, up with Michael Cole and Mojo Riley. It was in Buffalo, New York. No, it was not in Buffalo, York. Oh. Uh, the Performance Center is in <laughs> Florida, where we would love to go, where it's nice and warm. But right now we can't go because of the Rona. We we went there in 2018. Yes. Anywho. Yo, Rona, when I see you in these streets, yo, it's on site. You know nah, man, you gotta, you gotta do like this. Nah, man, like I have to cancel my Mexico trip, yo. Rona, when I see you, <laughs> you know but, what it is. But it opened with uh, Mojo and Michael Cole as they introduced the uh, host for WrestleMania, who is none other than a Patriots fan. You mean a Patriots <laughs> player? An ex Patriot player. He's ex retired yeah. Now. What's his name? Do you remember Rob. his name? Rob Gronkowski, friend. You know, I forgot to laugh. Mr. Party Animal. Yes. Anyway, he came out as a party animal to as any uh. A Jersey dance. Shore boy would do. Word, definitely fist pumping all the way. Bum, 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 bum. Anywho, um, comes out already. Uh, he is the host for WrestleMania, which is WrestleMania is now two nights, and um, he's going to be hosting both nights of the show. He was out there with his best friend Mojo Riley. What are y'all thinking about? What do you, like, what do you think about that? That whole two night thing. Personally, I think they should have canceled the show. Me too. You know, I don't see it's the reason to, to have it right now. It's supposed to be the greatest show on. But, but you know what it is, though, when you think about it? People are actually stuck at home, and right now their ratings might be through the roof. You never know. It might be it might be strategic on their part. I mean, we'll see. We have I mean, hold on. I mean, I watch it, but, you know. Exactly. And then now, you know what? A lot of people who may not even be, you know, would have been home to actually watch it may actually watch it now. So, you know. I mean, you can watch it anytime on the app. Yeah, but I mean, it's nothing like live, you know? It's not even live, it's taped. Oh, well, nothing like tape live. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on. Anywho, so Mojo Rowley comes out, and he's interrupted by none other than... King Corbin. King, King Corbin. Corbin. And King Corbin tells him that he shouldn't be here, he shouldn't be out here uh, hosting the show, he doesn't belong here, he needs to uh, play football. But then yeah. Mr. Elias comes out, Play a song about 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 um King Corbin about King Corbin yes and then um and then what happened he also said touchdown he also said touchdown that's what Elias said yeah and then okay. the people and then the people behind it behind King Corbin he, they were he, they were secretly snickering behind him and who was those people snickering behind him um some suckers no what. No, <laughs> it was Rob Gronkowski and Mojo Riley that was laughing and snickering behind was, uh, King Corbin's back. Those being suckers, yo. <laughs> but they were dancing also to Elias' song, all off beat and whatnot. Anywho. Leave the king alone, he innocent. <laughs> what? 
Not really. Free not cake. really. Free can't go up and he ain't do nothing. <laughs> He's not truly the world lord of the ring. Anywho, so Rob makes a match between uh, Elias and uh, King Corbin for WrestleMania. I didn't know as a host you can make matches up, but this is what's happening. So this is one of the matches that we'll see on the two-night event. I like it. Who do you think will win? Uh, definitely probably Elias is going to win. Yeah, I think so, too. Anywho, next then we have uh, Daniel Bryan and his little brother, Drew Gallick. I mean, go oh, his, oh, his, <laughs> his brother partner. Yeah, his brother partner, partner brother or whatever. No, nah, them, them guys look alike. You, you gotta admit, they, they yes, really they do. do. Like, it's crazy. So it's side uh, profile and everything. Yes, man. they, they look related. So Drew Gulak versus so Cesaro and Shinsuke Nakamura, and we have uh, our Intercontinental Champions, Mr. Sami Zayn, on commentary with. Uh, Mr. Michael Cole. And of course, uh, unfortunately, uh, Sammy thought that his team was going to win, but they lost. And uh, Unfortunate. Unfortunate, yes, unfortunate. And we have... Not unfortunate. Just a bunch of stuff. They're just a bunch of stuff. Okay, so a bunch of suckers? Wow. Ooh. That's a little harsh. Okay, right. What did they ever do to you? Okay. Anywho, so Drew Gulak and uh, Br uh, Daniel Bryan won that match. Pretty cool match. Uh... But, you know, it feels different because we have no crowd. Yeah, it's just, it's so weird without the crowd, you know. The and crowd kind of brings, like, that real intensity and excitement to it, you know. Yes. So it kind of sucks that the crowd's not energy, back. Um, man. Without the energy, there's, like, it's not even like a nada. show. It's not even yeah, like a show? It's just, yeah, it's just weird. It's, it's just nada. Yeah, it's it's just nada? Weird. It's nah? It's meh? Yeah. 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 Okay. Yo, bring the audience back. Maybe a virtual audience, <laughs> something, you know what I'm saying? You know, put Ooh, like... a virtual audience, okay. Yeah, you know, but put like a bunch of, um, like, you know, dummies oh. in, like, the crowd or whatever and put like a screen in the face. All these coronavirus things you know? started in the summer. But you know, six, right. excited. But they're six cool. feet away from each other person. Okay, so, so we have the virtual people, yeah. but we have to say six feet away. No, but if they're virtual, it doesn't matter because, you know, they could actually be an audience. But how do you know it will be six feet away? I don't know. Let's get back on track, peeps. Yeah. We're off the rails right yeah, now, yeah. like JJ. Yeah. Um, anywho, then uh, after they lost, uh, after uh, Cesaro and uh, Shinsuke lost that match, uh, Sammy uh, told uh, Daniel that he will never win uh, mm -hmm. listening to uh, Drew Gulak. Right. So uh, Daniel Bryan proposed a thing where, it, no, excuse me. Sammy proposed if Sammy Zane, if Shinsuke Nakamura beats, beats Drew right. Drew Gallup, Drew Gulak, Gulak, excuse me, ugh, if he beats Drew, Drew, then Daniel can face Sammy at WrestleMania for the Intercontinental Championship. So we definitely know that Drew is going to win next week, and they are definitely going to fight on uh, Sunday at WrestleMania or Saturday. Who knows whichever day is going to be? So how do they have the event spread out? I don't even know. They haven't even really said it yet. Most likely, if it's going to be taped, then it's probably going to get leaked. And we're going to find out. What are you doing, friend? <laughs> Please stop. Thanks. Uh, most likely, it's going to be spread out. We don't know how long it's going to eat. Usually, the show itself is at least six hours long. Jesus. What? The, long the WrestleMania is definitely at least about six, almost six hours long. But... Would it now being spread across two days, maybe it'll be three and three, or two and three, depending on how they have the lineup of the matches, how they have everything spread out. It all depends on what they do, what they do as a booking. True. So. Well, I mean, being that it's kind of pre-recorded, they can kind of edit it as. They that can too, exactly. Set, so. so people can do things so over. They, right. They're probably they actually just things... condensing the show into, um, you know, two, three hour periods. Who knows? Right. right. Two, yeah, two hour see. periods. Who knows what it's going to be? But sure. it's going to sure. definitely be something where it's condensed and put in where they can have things, fillers and. Yeah. I mean, because when you kind of think about it without the audience, without all that extra, you know, jazz that goes into it, you know, without that being there, you know, you never know. It may just be uh, actually a shorter show. Yeah. See? We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, after that, then they show us the match between Bray Wyatt and uh, John, John Cena. Cena at WrestleMania 30 six years ago, which setting setting us off for the uh, match for The Fiend versus John Cena at WrestleMania 36. 
He still so, had his hair then. He still had his hair. <laughs> he still had hair back so then. You're absolutely Bray right. Bray Wyatt had a chance to redeem himself. So yeah. So now Bray Wyatt, but now as the fiend, he has his chance to redeem himself. So he I does, think he's gonna win because less. Most likely, I'm I think sure. He's gonna win. Because six years ago he sure lost over. John I think so. Man. That is correct. He lost over I John Cena. So. so now this year, I bet he definitely I, the fiend is gonna win. Yeah, I bet, I feel I bet like he's that. very upset. He is very upset. So that he, he as feels, he should be. <laughs> so he can't have another loss. It's not gonna look good on his record. Nah. So he already has one loss. So now he, he definitely has to redeem himself, yeah. like you just said, and win and beat and and beat John Cena. Because I mean, if you think about it, if he loses, he's no longer a threat. Two losses in a row, it's just like. Eh. Well, I I don't think he's a threat now, but you know. Well, yeah, that's true because he's been defeated. Right. Cracks by, in your armor. By the by old Goldberg, but who knows? We'll see. Yeah, that is true. But now nah, Goldberg still look like a beast, though. You know, For how old is he? Fifty two, you said. Too, yeah, he, look, so. he looks amazing, you know. So, yeah, yeah I give mean, it to him. Then hey, we have it's hey, entertainment, it is entertainment. Now, it's I would great. like to see a real street fight, though. True, yeah, that'll be because we because uh, Goldberg uh, only fights and matches at least about 10 minutes long, ah. maybe that long. That's it, yeah. Oh. Well, it'll definitely be at the end of the show. <laughs> um, so then we have Paige and Michael Cole, they're talking about uh. The women's evolution, and they are interrupted none by none other than Bailey and Sasha. Bailey and Sasha. By the way, <laughs> Sasha had on a bad outfit. But I want to say how much to probably like Flo Jo, but definitely a, a bad outfit. I must say, real looking nice in that. Shout out to Paige. Like, <laughs> yeah, he's shout he, out to Paige. He, he loves. She her got to a Paige. fresh arm, real re up, you know. Anywho, so they're interrupted by Sasha and uh, Bailey, and uh, Paige announces that uh, Bailey will be fighting at WrestleMania, and Bailey was like uh, underneath the impression that she was not going to be wor working for uh, this year's WrestleMania because she's been working <laughs> all year and she's been defeating all of her her uh, competition, so she thought she was going to be off. But unfortunately, Paige had one up on her, sure, and sure. Paige announces that uh, Bailey will be putting her title against. Lacey Evans, Tamina, Dana Brooke, uh, and Naomi, and Sasha Banks. That's a lot. That is a lot. She's going against all uh, six women. Uh, it's a six women uh, match against Miss Bailey, and her title's on the line. And How she be, be able to be on? Uh, I, I mean, we'll have to see. We yeah, don't, that's I don't what know. I said. Sit back. We're sitting back. We're getting comfortable. Your head's we're up we're the still, spring. we're still not finding out. Still not finding out what <clears throat> about what's going to happen next. Well, yeah, I mean, we still have to w wait and figure it out and, and see. We have to watch it um for the two night event and see what happens. So, uh, so Bailey has her hands uh filled with this match. Um, she got a lot a lot of good people in this match. I'm not sure who's going to win. If Bailey loses, I'm sure it's definitely going to be Sasha Banks that beats her. Yeah, um, yeah. I, I it is. So. Uh, is that is definitely putting the two against each other. So you know what? what? That'd be kind of cool though, because you know Sasha Banks been kind of like you know praising her and stuff like that. So it'd be kind of mm -hmm. cool for her to take her down. See, I see be, what you're saying. I see. I see where you're going with that. I see what them. you did with that. Okay. Them. I, I like that idea, friend. From Brooklyn. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Then we have uh, Miz and John Morrison. They come out and um, they do a the little segment. Say that again, sir. Back to the dirt sheet. Back to the dirt. Good job, friend. <laughs> Good come job. Why? You remember the name of that show? Good for you. Dirt um, yes, Street. they had the dirt streak. Too and corny. Too oh, you like okay? Too corny. Okay. That was a joke. That was a joke. <laughs> That's what you're calling John and uh, the Miz too corny? Corn. Yeah. Me. <laughs> like in as a like piece of corn? Yes. Got you. Okay. Well, John and uh, the Miz came out and they uh, prayed a little, uh, made some fun against some of the guys. They uh, made fun of uh, the Usos. They were dressed like the Usos and mocking them. And, and they were dressed like bacon and the heavy machine. They were bacon dressed, for the heavy machine. Well, not bacon for the heavy machine. They were dressed as bacon, pretending to be heavy machinery. That looked weird. That it looked weird, and then they were the new day, and they were tossing pancakes. That's not really them. Well, they it were was heavy not really machinery them. dressed as bacon. Now that was hilarious. Yeah, I mean, I, I thought it was pretty comical. She I thought it was very original. Not. 
Huh? Say that again? You should never be someone you're not. Well, they, we, I mean, that is true, but they were just making fun of, you know, and this just... This is why Otis should drop one of them on the head. Yes. You know? Otis is definitely going to, you know, do, he's looking for... Um, yeah, his belly, he's going to go. <laughs> <laughs> he's looking for um, Dolph Ziggler, but right now he has to go against um, The Miz and John Morrison. So they have a match against each other, and uh, unfortunately, having machinery lost, and... Um, yeah, That's what happened with their match. But it's, it's okay. Over. They'll get their revenge some kind of way. Usually do. Then we have Alexa Bliss uh, challenging the Kabuki Warriors. Her and Nikki are challenging them, and they want them to come and face them at SmackDown because they had interrupted them the week before last mm -hmm. and uh, made them lose their match. So, therefore, they challenged them. They going to lose anyway. You think they was going to lose anyway? Yeah. Okay. Well, they were going to lose anyway. Yep. Anywho, and uh, so that match is set, and we'll see what happens if they're going to accept that match next week. Uh, then we have the closeout of the show where we have Goldberg and Roman Reigns sign Contact for their match. Signing. Yes, and they can do a little standoff, and what happened with those two guys? Who do you think is going to win? I think Roman Reigns is going to shut him down. He thinks Roman's going to shut him down? Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I agree. Goldberg with for you know a little while ago, he's gonna lose. I, I mean, he's he's like the Undertaker. He'll come in in and yeah, out, right. once in a blue, come nah, out. Nah, but I, I don't, I don't, I don't believe he's gonna. I mean, he's looking good, but I don't believe he's gonna win. Yeah, I don't think he's gonna get two in a row. Right, exactly. Uh, you're about to get retired back then. So, any uh, hopes or expectations for WrestleMania, guys? We already know it's two nights. What do you think? Do you think we're gonna see some some big title changes? I honestly just hope that everyone stays safe and um. Don't catch that corona. Yeah. Coronavirus. People who do. Oh, shout out to Cody. <laughs> people who are 60 um, and, and up. And older. Yeah, they're not. They, they cannot get the coronavirus. Coronavirus. Who said that? They, they, they shouldn't get the coronavirus. No, well, that's the whole thing. Like, too many young people feel like they're invincible and they're not out, you know, and they're actually outside running around when they should actually be indoors. And, you know, people need to actually stay inside the house and stop the spread of this thing, you know, but, you know. Yeah, but it's sometimes boring. No, I know it's boring. That's the whole thing. It sucks being locked down. But, you know, at least at least you guys have different options, you know, different things to do. You know, at least you have a backyard and a front yard to run around, you know. And not everyone has that luxury, you know. So, you, you know, being stuck inside the house really does suck. But, you know, you got to make the best of it. And, you know, it's for the greater good. So, you know, I'm doing my part. Anywho, so yes, please be safe out there. Try to stay away from other people. At least have your social distances. Don't be in big Six groups. Feet. More than 10 people. Uh, try to be around less people. Or if not, just stay home. If you can only, if you have to go to work, stay safe. Other than that, make sure you're protected. You're, you wear the proper clothing. You got enough gloves. Also. You have a mask. You're good to go. Uh, yeah, other than that, you got a hand sensor. You always clean your hands. Wash your hands. Shout out to those um, internet DJs Literally. from Instagram that's just been popping up, you know, playing music, you know, keeping the club scene going. So, wash yeah. your hands. Shout out, shout out to that. That's been kind of cool. Thoroughly? Yes. How wash. long? 30 seconds. Well, it's 20, but yeah, 30 is even better. Yes. The only thing though sucks is that, like, my hands have been really dry lately, you know. Cause, I don't like, have I, to moisturize, No, because at work, they got like that crappy, you know, cheap um hand. You know what? I'm going to start bringing my own soap to the bathroom. Yes. I, I can't, I can't deal with it. My skin too, you know, too nice for that. Yeah. You know. Keep it moisturized, friend. Pushing 40. <laughs> <sighs> That said, uh, Mr. LJ, where can they find you, sir? They can find me on the London Lynch channel. Mr. BK? They can find me on the Bryson Lynch channel. Okay, and I am the sensation Miss Chrissy Love. You can find me on IG and Facebook and Twitter. Uh, Mr. Love, you can catch him around your blocks. And this uh, one. And what episode Trying is this, to stay friend? Corona free. I think it's 12. This is it episode is, 12. It is 12. Okay. Episode number 12, guys. We thank you for watching. Uh, and until next time, we see you later, and peace for episode, out! For episode Unlucky 13. 13. They're Unlucky 13? Well, we're trying to be lucky for 13, friend. What? Mm -hmm. Unlucky 13. Peace. There's no such thing as an unlucky number. I believe in God. Yeah. Close out the show. Peace out. out.